Uh, dude, you've been doing a lot of wrestling stuff. Fuck yeah, man. I just got back from yeah. Japan. So what What do you, like, are you fucking taking bumps and shit? Bro, let me tell you something. All right? <laughs> just let me lay it out for you. The you? Budokan Hall. All right? I've been reading about that fucking building since I was probably 13 years old in Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine, all right? Because they would have arena reports. And I've been reading the Budokan Hall, the Budokan Hall, my whole life, thinking one day I'm going to be wrestling at the Budokan Hall. You know what I'm saying? I actually found the opportunity, thanks to fucking Madman Pondo. Shout out to Madman Pondo. And I was like, I'm going, but I ain't scrubbing with you guys, you know? Because I don't know how they fly over there. I had to go over there in style, you know what I'm saying? Because wrestlers rough it up, you know yeah. what I mean? And they yeah, get together. Yeah, they shit. <laughs> right? So... I went over there, and all three events were in one v venue. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, I had a nice ass hotel overlooking the whole city, right, right there. And there's like three or four restaurants in the hotel. They do it big in Tokyo. You know what I mean? So I stayed in my hotel, and every day I'd get up and go to do, or I'd get up, um, uh, get gym? breakfast or whatever. Oh. <laughs> I think go to the gym. Hit the gym. <laughs> and, and, anyway, the first show, hit the, the first show, um, I just managed. You know, right? I came up. I'm at the Budokan Hall. I ma I managed to, uh, a guy. You know, second show it was a straight tag team. I'm like, fuck it, I'm doing this. You know what I mean? I wrestled the match. You know, and um, I'm working with a guy. I don't even speak English. I was just telling Joey on the way over here. You know how they did it? They had like a machine where he would say something in Japanese and then hand it to me, and it would speak it in English what he said. And I would say something in English and hand it back, and it would say it in Japanese. You know what I mean? So we could have some understanding of what we were gonna do in the ring, you know. And we got out there and did it and everything. And um, I went to give him a um, backflip on, on the outside, you know what I mean? Which is simple. Like he was like, I'm gonna look like I'm gonna pile drive you, and then you give me a backflip, right? I fucking went to do it. It was like I ain't got the strength I used to have. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh shit. Oh, you know, but I got to get him back. Right? To the, he sandbagged me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he did though. He could have jumped, motherfucker. I didn't have the strength. I'm just, <laughs> he thought you were big and strong, man. Big ass American. Well, that, that's it, yo. <laughs> but anyway, I got him over. Boom. You know, he took the bump. You know, he was cool. Anyway, they got the ring. So here's the crazy part. I'm, I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm at Budokan Hall. It's probably the last time I wrestled in my life. I'm doing the moonsault. You know what I mean? <laughs> Swear to God, dog. How'd that go? <laughs> I never saw this coming. All right, I ain't done the moonsault since <laughs> since 2017. You know what okay. I'm saying? And when I did it, I blew out the top of my foot. It was the whole entire foot was fucking toes were black and purple. Like I, the whole. Half so he's of like, my "Fuck, foot. I'm gonna do it I'm again." Do it again. After not doing it for, for five years, get right? <laughs> Fuck that. I'm like, all I got to do is get over. You know, I'm doing a backward flip off the top rope. I'm 51. I'm fat. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, <laughs> man. Good combo. I'm at Budokan Hall in Japan, dog. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I start climbing the ropes. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding Pondo's hand for my balance. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You were climbing the ropes? <laughs> yeah. I'm climbing, climbing the ropes all the way to the top. No, I thought... I th I'm thinking. I'm in my head. I'm thinking of when the uh, the Undertaker does that thing where he does the no oh, no 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 <laughs> where he walks no. But the when rope. I got to like second rope, like he was on the outside. I grabbed his hand for a minute when I so I can get my balance on the top rope. I look back and I was like, I'm about to die. Jump right. <laughs> I swear, my I head, died. the top of my head, land in, landed and in, into his chest. <laughs> he saved my life, Joey. If he wasn't there, I'd have bounced I've, right on the fucking mat. I've seen the pictures. <laughs> There's two pictures. Why are you still doing this? I did it. That was it. I ain't ever doing it again. <laughs> ever. Never. Never again. I told myself, I told myself, I'm disrespecting God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously. I'm so fortunate, right? I got my kids, you know what right. I'm saying? And I'm out here playing Gambling. with fate. You know right. what I mean? But it was a childhood dream, and I had to knock it out. You know what I mean? There's two photos of that shit floating around, like took in simultaneously. One is him like flying, kind of angled off the top rope. The other one is him like head first, like that. I well, like, barely straight got up, over. You know, what <laughs> you know what though? And then I realized something when I got in the back. I barely got over, but I wasn't hurt. You know what I'm saying? I I, I barely got over. If I would have popped up on my knees and went. Ah, like I meant to do it, it would have been the shit. 
like a backward driver. suicide neck missile or something. <laughs> What you- Some suicidal backward move. Like, the, what if the Japanese crowd was like, whoa, he meant to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you have to move to Japan. Oh, another thing. Right, listen, and then you got to do it next time you wrestle. Listen, uh, you're, you're a fan of this I right am. wrestling. I'm big um, The other thing that was very fucking cool. You got the fucking This is, this is no about? kidding. Stone Cold. M- M- Madman Pounder, the guy who oh, brought up. The guy who brought up. WrestleMania 13. Was that in uh, the, the Duck Pond? That was uh. No, that wasn't thirteen. My bad. I don't think that was when he fought Br- uh Brett Brettman. Uh, that was Brettman. Brett the, Brett the Hitman Hart. <laughs> Bro. Brettman. Hey, Brettman is actually <laughs> my wife's favorite makeup artist. The gay Hawaiian kid. His last name is Brettman. His name is Brettman. Brettman rocks. This little Hawaiian kid. Sweet. This is this is cool. Super tangent. So, so, so um the the uh the okay Madman Pondo over there by the way you heard of him mm-hmm. he he's he's a celebrity over there. I mean, like, he's got it going on. He's got so was this a New Japan show? Th- this is Big Japan. Okay, okay. All right? And um, he's got he's the man over there, especially Necro. Him and Necro Butcher, they're just, like, revered and shit. Like, they're the main event every night. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, all that shit, right? So, um, um, I, now, they're heels. We're, we're the Gaijings, the, the Americans, and we're doing, like, an invasion you know, it's got the posters. It was really dope. They did a whole thing for their TV show or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. And I was part of that heel faction, right? And so Pondo and them, they come out. The, the, the fans over there, this is hard to believe, but this is what they told me. Still believe wrestling's real. I mean, it is that very is, big. I, I mean, I'm I, sure yeah, there's many, many, many who do, who who don't. But don't. But don't they? Don't they have the internet and they see like everybody in America talking about that? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. But but but, but in there, maybe the, if the custom is just different, maybe they're just like don't believe that bullshit. It's <laughs> fake over there or something. I don't it's know. Doctor D. David. But Salter, I'll tell fucking. you this, and I swear this is the truth, man. I I had an axe. We we were called too wicked. I had an axe and he had that weapon, that bat with the thing yeah, in it. Zombie apocalypse. And that was our it. thing, right? So when he was wrestling, I'd be banging the axe on the fucking turn, turn on the turn uh, um, buckle thing, ding ding, you know, putting chips in it. And when I would turn her around, I go ah, and, and and show the girl and put it to the uh, axe to my neck. Them motherfuckers would back up, like it. I, it was dope, Joey. You should actually bum rush their ass. Did, no, you remember. <laughs> Strangle Mania when they're running yeah, through. Yeah, it looks like Man, fucking. I, I would come at them and they would all back up. up. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow, that's the shit. You know what I mean? They sell it more than, than anything I, I've been doing with, uh, you know, uh, in NWA with Billy Corgan and all that. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers are like afraid of you, you know, and it was cool, man. And they were having these crazy death matches, you know. And um, those death matches are so crazy. Yeah, they were turning it up. What do up, they man. fucking do to top what they did back? They used to have exploding rings. What do they do? Yeah, now? the exploding you rings. Know, you know, say how do you top that? Are they like even topping that? You know what I saw? This is fucking disgusting too. Like hypodermic needle matches. <laughs> I've seen. There's been one in JCW. What do you? <laughs> What? And they stab at each other with hypodermic needles. Oh yeah, but it's not a hypodermic needle match. They, they got them like gimmicked out and shit. Listen, we were <laughs> watching say, wrestling. Thank you. We were watching wrestling on Halloween. Yeah. We were doing a commentary, and a dude pulled out a needle, and we were like, "Too much, too much. What the fuck? Too That's much." That's like a, a, uh, the AEW show. I think it was like last year. One of the dudes is bleeding, and the guy licked his blood up uh, off of his fucking head. See, that's uh, and that's too why much. I'm always like hepatitis and, and shit. And that shit was on TNT. That's just too like, much, bro. Yeah. Like, right. yeah, you don't do that, man. No. Yeah, 